Salutations, ladies and germs. Uh, today we've got part three of my World Glide Buzzworthy Bumblebee um, set. I, I am excited for this next one. This is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to purchase this. Um, so far I've done the Nemesis Primal and Bumblebee, which whatever. Next we're going to get into Spider Lady. Um, this is a repaint uh, with a retool of um, the Kingdom Black Arachnia figure. If you are unfamiliar with that figure, it is one of the scariest to transform figures uh, of the last year. She is delicate. Uh, can't say delicate because I haven't had one break, but it feels like every single little thing in like two years is going to become brittle. Um, this is my version, <laughs> which I went through and repainted everything. Uh, this is one of those, those times where I kind of kicked myself in the butt. And I'll tell you why. These originally were black. I repainted them gold because I, I can't leave anything alone. We know this. Um, I put some green on here, some purple. She looks a lot more like her, her animation model. Um, that was the idea, at least. Uh, Black Arachne is wonderful. Um, but here is... Here's where the confusion starts. This, right here, with her weird leopard bra thing here, this is also... 100% accurate black arachnia. Now, now, the issue is, is this one came with the gold arms. This one came with black arms. If you get both of these, you can actually swap the black arms off super easy. Uh, it's literally just a couple of mushroom pegs um, right there. You can pop them off and you put the gold arms on her and the black arms on her because this version actually should have black arms I screwed myself I might actually pick up a second black arachne if I see one in the stores and do this um, because I am scared about that figure breaking later and I might just keep one a little more mint all right so uh, one of the more confusing uh, things here but I guess this is like the toy version. I'm not really was, I did not collect Beast Wars toys, but I loved the show. In fact, I loved the show so much that it depressed me that the toys were so bad. Um, and some people loved them, but they were all, uh, mush uh, not mushroom pegs, uh, ball joints. It was just a bunch of ball joints. Essentially they had like a bunch of skeleton figures that had beast parts sticking off the back. I still don't like them. There's a bunch of reissues that are coming out pass um but this kingdom figure here is ridiculous now uh the head is different so if you look on here they did remold the head in into a uh the toy version um i was when i first saw this i thought that they made a tarantulas which i guess there is a listing now for the next set which i think is called like legacy um the next series anyway uh so that's good, uh, but when I looked at this, the more and more I looked at this figure, the more and more I wanted it just because I loved the way that they made this. This is the nuttiest transformation sequence um, that I've, I think I've ever seen. I, I don't understand who did this. They need to get a raise because this is nuts um, how this thing transforms. So let's just give a basic basic twist around here um the head was always an issue on the other one all right not, not bad not bad it looks like it's just glued together all right i'm gonna flip this down so i can flip this up i believe that's how we do this it's been a while since i've even transformed that one um there so she's got these like boobs that hang out here. <laughs> Just 
get them back boobs going now. Flip this around. Okay. And I believe this comes out, spins around, and then goes back in. Like so. Yes. If you don't have one of these figures, check it out on the on the shelf. Um, easily one of the neatest transformations I've seen in a long time. Just just like wow. I'm just hoping I don't have to pull out the old uh Does this pop up? I think it does. Yeah, okay. Anyway, one of the neatest transformations because they they envelop everything that's uh part of this figure there. No, I'm confused. Okay. Probably should have transformed the previous one like a couple times to figure this out. Yeah. Because you kind of got to twist her entire body around on top of itself. And this part comes back down and goes over the boobs. <laughs> As you said, this is a, it's a figure here. It's definitely weird. All right, and then this part. Pretty sure I did something wrong here. This goes... That goes forward, okay. So the crotch actually flips up. That's That was one of those pressure points that I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't wanna break it. Now I did show this to a couple people and they're like, I don't like that figure because when it turns into its beast mode, it's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie there. This is a creepy, creepy beast mode. Um, now the original black arachnia that I have there, that one actually really, really looks the part. Um, this one a little less so, in my opinion at least. All right, come on. This is really the hard part is getting the, the claws here to align so that they go around this part. And as I said, it's been a minute since I've done this. So I gotta even try to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. I think this flips. There we go. You see how it fits right there on the heel? Amazing. Amazing. Um, even if you don't really like Beast Wars figures, this is fun to just mess around with. Alright, and then we got her legs. Go like so. And this is where you have to have everything perfect in order to line it up. So it perfectly lined up like that. Because this part plugs into the bottom. And it plugs in so precariously. So easily messed up. That I'm even having trouble trying to find it right now. And it plugs into the holes on the back of that. But when you're doing it, you're actually going to probably unplug. Like so. The the previous thing that we just plugged in. It feels like this figure should have been a little bit bigger. And you wouldn't have these kind of tolerance issues. But then it wouldn't really size well with the rest of the figures. In the line. All right, we're gonna try for. I'm pretty sure that is correct. 
try for my secondary method, which is where I pull these out and plug them in. And I do see some gold plastic on here, which is not my uh, favorite thing to be seeing on a transformer. Um, hopefully this doesn't have the same GPS issues as previous uh, gold plastic. So there. So I plugged it in here first. Uh, these two actually do click together a little bit. Then we put it on. Spin these around. They pop off. These are actually on ball joints, so that's fine because they're spider legs. Um, and there. There's the terror for you. You get yourself a nice little arachnid. She's even got the little thing sticking out of her butt. <laughs> um, this is one of the reasons why I bought this. This looks amazing. This looks like a creepy, creepy spider uh, versus the Black Widow, which is a great figure, the, the Black Arachnia. Um, but this, this looks more like a Black Widow, where this one just looks like a creepy spider. I love it. Um, if you, as I said, if you're if you're moderately into Transformers at all and want to try one out that's neat, check this out. Now, what's annoying is is that they haven't released like sixty of this one, uh, where they love doing primals. They did another Rat Trap and Cheetor. They've done multiples of all of them, but this because girl figures don't sell. They do. Sometimes they just take a little longer. Um, lately, I've been going to Walmarts and Targets, and Walmart and Target had like six RC figures on the shelf for a long time. And slowly but surely, they've been disappearing. Um, in fact, down to one at each store now. Um, so they do sell. I just think maybe that uh, girls aren't um, as into the figures as, as guys are or guys just to like gotta sit there and be like do i really want that pink robot i do but i don't know if i can use it with it i gotta buy some gi joes with it that's what i'll do i'll slip it in the gi joes so um here we go we got ourselves a, a nice uh arachnid bug creepy looking like, just look at the colors on that thing. This thing's wonderful. As I said, I might be picking up another black arachnia. Maybe I'll do a repaint of that. Whatever. But I already repainted this one um, to look more like the show colors. If you want, I'll, uh, I have on my Instagram some, some stuff. I'm probably going to be getting a website soon so that I can have all this stuff just showcased um, a little better than, than just this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this didn't have any of the purples. Uh, it didn't have the green. When, and so I just went together and made myself a show accurate one. Because I have problems. So stay tuned. Uh, the next one uh, will be up shortly. And that's going to be the coup de gras. The real reason I bought this, the real reason that I spent way more money than I should have, uh, because I'm a completionist, and this guy... Yeah. So anyway, like, subscribe, share, comment, critique, concern, all that stuff. I'm Alpha Magnus.